Hi, and thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on how to generate dummy variable using eView. So, dummy variable are uh, variable uh, in time series that uh, took uh, uh, essentially uh, two values. For example, one at a specific period, uh, a specific year or a period of time, and uh, zero elsewhere. So, um, uh, dummy variable generation are mostly uh, motivated by uh, instability in uh, time series. For example, in economic, for example, you can uh, have a period of time in which uh, economic, uh, economic economy have uh, realized uh, booms or uh, recession due to uh, uncertain factor such as, for example, a coronavirus or uh, for now it is affecting uh, uh, world economy and uh, for future modeling of uh, time series, we should take uh, in consideration the, uh, the situation that uh, coronavirus have created in our economy. So, um, I will take an example in a uh, country that has set uh, in uh, CFA France zone. Uh, you know that uh, country in CFA France zone have, uh, have experienced a uh, great depression in uh, the period of time 1986 uh, uh, to 1994, uh, since uh, the devaluation of CFA front and uh, the, then the economic have uh, become to uh, realize uh, economic growth. So, uh, for example, we can look at uh, there are many variables in our data set. We have uh, GDP in current local currency. We have uh, GDP growth, uh, GDP annual growth. We will look at uh, GDP annual growth uh, chart. So. Uh, we have our we look at spreadsheet. You can see that in year 1997 we have negative uh, uh, economic growth, as well as in 1998 the same thing uh, through 1990 uh, 1993, uh, and so and then the economic uh, became uh, began yet yeah, to realize uh, a positive. Uh, economic growth so we can look at graph so that you can uh, see the instability in the period uh, 1996 1996 which uh, economic of this uh, zone uh, became to uh, to collapse to capsize so uh, this period of time were very bad for CFA from economy we will generate a uh, dummy variable that will take in consideration this uh, instability uh, of uh, this period. For example, we will generate a uh, dummy variable that will took the value one in 1996 when the economy began uh, collapsing uh, due to economic crisis, and uh, the, the variable will take one at this period of time. And zero elsewhere. So uh, to generate a uh, domain variable that that satisfy this condition, we just go on generate in our uh, work file base. You can just click on gen to generate a variable called that I will call uh, dummy uh, one, for example, equal uh, IRO bars. Uh, I wrote base uh, here equal uh, 1987. Uh, so uh, this dummy variable is, has been generated, and you can see that uh, our dummy variable took uh, the value one in the year uh, 1997. 1987 and zero elsewhere. So we can look at the uh, graph. We can uh, schematize this uh, situation so that you can see that uh, our domain variable just took 
uh, those take the value one at 1987 and zero elsewhere. So we can uh, generate also uh, other uh, dummy variable in the same manner at the period of uh, uh, the instability. We can also generate variable uh, on the period uh, uh, on the year uh, 1988, for example. So, uh, so I should have come call a variable uh, dummy two. So I keep the same name. So uh, you can generate uh, many dummy variable according to the particular situation. So that uh, in the econometric modeling, you can take into account uh, the instability of uh, of your series. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. I will. Uh, come back in a little bit sooner on the uh, new material that will help you uh, very well understand statistics and generally econometrics. So thanks very much.